Hello folks and welcome to the world of stand-up electrical self-balancing vehicles. These machines are difficult to classify by name. We classify it as an electric personal assistive mobility device. That's EPAMD. Well within the hour you're going to be riding your new Frigo like an old pro. We want you to have fun and enjoy your new riding experience for years. So be patient, take a moment to watch these rules of thumb. Always begin your first rides with an assistant to help you get on and off and wear your included safety gear. Well the first rule of thumb is to note the limits of the machine as shown in the included manual. You know it's important not to overload it because it's designed for no more weight than 275 pounds on level ground. Any more weight than that will overload the unit and will shut down via the safety fuse. That also applies to trying too steep of hills. 20 degrees is about max for 200 pound person, so no problem there. Well, before the fuse would blow though, you're gonna get warnings in beeps, so you're gonna know. For example, if you go too fast when riding, it's gonna beep a warning and slow you down all by itself. If it starts beeping fast, just stop and get off within two seconds, or the safety fuse is gonna blow and the machine's gonna shut down. Well, at this point, you're going to be virtually stopped anyway, so it's pretty easy to jump off when you're not moving. And then you can walk it up the hill, steps, curbs, instead. By the way, the safety fuse is the fastest way to shut these types of machines down versus one going wild waiting for a computer to shut it down. There's extra fuses it's supplied with, and uh, it's easy to change. Okay, let's get started. Make sure to put the machine in the slowest mode for your first rides. Once you get used to it, you can go into the faster speeds. The slowest mode is achieved by clicking the remote's lower left button till it only beeps once. It'll cycle through 3, 2, 1. At one beep, your top speed is only 4.5 mile per hour and it will not let you go any faster than that. The swing steering is also insensitive in the low speed mode, so it's easier to get into the swing of things while riding, mounting, and dismounting. You want to begin by making sure to always start the machine and mount the machine with the pedals level with the earth. If it's not, when you get on, it's not going to feel right. Also, don't move the turning pipe left or right when getting on or off where it's going to turn. Just simply hold it straight up and down with both hands and get on and off briskly. Once you do that a couple of times, you'll find it's quite easy. Also, you want to start out on smooth ground. And never start out with the wheels in a rut or on a big crack in the road or sidewalk. Of course, once you're moving, all these bumps, cracks, ruts, etc. can easily be ridden over, and you're going to be gliding and smiling safely. Hello, folks. Today I'm going to show you a few riding tips, ways to get on and off the right way and the wrong way. These machines are very safe and uh, don't have the kind of learning curve like you would have learning a bicycle where you have to fall off. You're not going to fall off of this, especially if you pay attention to the... I'm going to show you how to turn it on. You don't turn it on like this. You want to keep this as level as you can. Flip the switch. You got the remote like on, on this and the F3. I will turn it into the uh, speed. That's low. That's high medium, low. If you're going to ride this the first time until you get used to your machine, like anything else, put it in low gear. This will allow you and warn you not to go too fast, so you will have very minor steering response at that point. On with the left foot, straight up, and just stand level. Once you relax and get this balance, you will feel totally comfortable. You only have to lean slightly forward and slightly back to go left and right. You turn like this. Now when you dismount, same thing. You want to get off without moving this turning bar. You want to just get straight off and step back. Keep a hold of this and keep it straight up and down. It's easy. Once you get the hang of this, it's no problem. You just simply Get on like that, get off like that. Don't dally around about it. Put your foot down, you'll feel it level out. And down. You turn it by doing this. 
okay, when you're riding, it's like riding a horse. You kind of have to lean your legs as you go into the turn. Don't use this to support you. This will support you this way, but not this way, because it will turn. Hold it firmly and stand straight up briskly. And once you're up, you'll find you're totally comfortable. You're at your center of balance. I like to step a little further forward so that I am right on the CG of the wheels. My feet actually are right there, as you can see. And this allows me to absolutely stand straight and have good control. Um, when you dismount, same thing. Keep the unit straight and get off briskly without moving anything this way or this way. Straight back. Just like that. If you do that, you'll have no problem. It takes just a few minutes to get used to it. The proper way to get on and off is quickly, without turning. Make sure you're in low gear. Just step off. Straight up and down. Don't move anything. Don't move it forward or backwards. When you start, level. Hold it firmly, but don't turn it. Get straight on. Straight up. Same thing when you get off. See, in low gear, steering is very insensitive. So this is the best way to learn in low speed. It won't allow you to go very fast. When you go fast, it beeps. It slows you down. And so, after a couple minutes, it'll be fine. Hey, Jeff, what do you think the best way to get on and off? Let's uh, give us a little demonstration there. I like using both hands, hanging on with both hands, not just one or the other. I like using both hands to get on Instead of one, I don't, I don't feel comfortable that way. I like using both. All right, very good. And you don't want to drink when you're driving because you might run into a tree. I knew I can't have that. Yet.